Hello, my awesome Aries. I missed you guys. I hope you had a beautiful, relaxing weekend. I hope you found some leisure time for yourself that you are deserving. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life, and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? No, it's this one over here trying to hide from me. Let's see. This is the extra message. Very important. Mm. If you feel unbalanced at this time like you're not sure what to do you're gonna see very clearly uh, so don't try to rush to get an answer right away you will see very clearly how to handle the situation yeah especially with your soulmate you see yeah because the chariot is reversed you feel like something is out of control and you can't handle it you will you see this the best card in the whole deck this relationship made you feel out of balance emotionally. Yeah, this is you feeling confused, sometimes, sometimes doubting. Yeah. Yeah, worrying, overanalyzing. You're going to see clearly in due time. Yeah, don't be nervous. Yeah, you're going to see very clearly what you need to do. Yeah. The soulmate of yours wants to communicate with you, but it's like they hesitating. Mm -hmm. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Ooh, don't let people make you feel out of balance. Yeah, stay away from people that gossip, that have constant drama. Yeah, because they will make you feel confused yeah stay away from negative people people who gossip who always have drama chaos yeah yeah you feel overburdened you feel tired mm -hmm. you see be careful what you wish for because you're gonna get it so keep being positive yeah beautiful you see, your luck will turn. You have good karma. You've been there for others. You see, it's coming back to you for a circle in the form of blessings, opportunities, ideas. Yeah. You love your soulmate, but you feel like this relationship is chaotic, too chaotic for you. Yeah. You feel unbalanced in this connection. Yeah. This is how you view your soulmate based on their... Uh, behavior towards you you view them as uh, in and out of your life not communicating effectively not expressing emotions yeah yeah being more out of your life than in your life yeah not listening to your concerns yeah you feel like you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work yeah this is how you view them yeah Knight of Wands, Page of Swords. You view them as mm, immature. Yeah, not consistent, not reliable. Mm, based on their behavior. Yeah, that's how you view them, based on their behavior towards you. And you feel drained because you feel like you've been doing all the work in this relationship. And yeah, you see, they have very hard time listening um, initiating communication, expressing emotions. They have a lot of pride. Universe, please show us. They don't like to be seen as emotionally vulnerable. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing?
Yeah, you feel so unbalanced. You you love this person, you care for them, but you feel if this continues this way, it's not going to last. Yeah, you feel like they're not putting work into this relationship, like they're not meeting you halfway. Yeah, you see this? You you At times you feel you love them, and at times you feel like you don't want to deal with them. Yeah, you, you feel turned off at times by their behavior towards you. Mm. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Aries. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Let's see. Yeah, you see, they're not communicating. So there were some serious fights, disagreements in this connection. This is them wanting so badly to communicate with you, to break this silence. Yeah, but they're stubborn. They set in their ways. They're hoping that you're going to reach out to them first when, in fact, they should be initiating this communication first. Uh, extending the olive branch to you and they know it you see they know it to be honest with you because you know sugar coating does not belong in readings because sugar coating is really lying so as a reader my job is to be honest without sugar coating this person has a lot of emotional baggage from past failed relationships that they need to work on they need to learn how to forgive how to let go of the past, how not to live in the past, how to learn from the past and move on. Yeah, because this emotional baggage, resentment, anger they're holding on to from the past that has nothing to do with you, by the way, uh, is directly affecting the connection with you and other people as well, how they communicate, how they commit, how they listen, how they express emotions. They want to see you so badly. This person feels they disappointed you. And this also means gifts, peace offerings, apologies. They want so badly to communicate with you. Yeah, this is communication, back and forth communication. <sighs> yeah, you tell them of you tell them what time it is. You were very blunt, honest. You didn't sugarcoat. Yeah. This person wants to rush back towards you. But you see, I don't see any cups here. No emotions, no feelings. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is this soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Oh, now we see page of cups. This person wants to apologize. Yeah, this means apologies, peace offerings. Yeah, look how scared they are of your reaction, of your rejection, of your judgment. They view you as very guarded emotion towards them. Yeah, as disappointed. Yeah, so again, this person wants to communicate with you so badly. Yeah, so they recognize they didn't put work into this relationship. They recognize that, which is a good sign. Yeah, you see, all of a sudden, now they want to bring something towards you. Yeah, you see, they worry that there's somebody else in your life, that somebody else is going to offer you a relationship. And they are correct. There's somebody else either already in your life or approaching you. Somebody who's very mature. Somebody who is relationship material because they're showing up as a king. And king of wands is very good with relationship message after that you see this oh this is beautiful yeah the person that you let go of wants so badly to be brave enough to reconnect with you even though they're scared of your judgment and your rejection let me see what's going on here i like the new soulmates energy king of wands you must please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of aries yeah, this is them trying to be patient with the situation, hoping, yeah, you see, they feel they owe you apologies, explanations, gifts, peace offerings. 
they scared they know they are at a final crossroads and they're gonna have to prove themselves to you yeah they're watching you so they're gonna be watching videos like this doing private readings watching your social media if you have any they want to know what's going on with you what you're thinking what you're feeling what you up to they are hoping praying wishing for something positive to happen this person doesn't want to lose you Mm, they took you for granted though when they had you they took you for granted because you were so readily available yeah and they lost you we're going to go into your extended reading Aries first we're going to ask about this soulmate but also we're going to ask about the soulmate that's approaching you the king of wands energy with four of wands first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the king of wands energy with four of wands new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so aries click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys